Hey there! You're watching the Jessa channel on YouTube. I'm Jessa, and today I am here with more Tex Murphy, the Tesla effect. We are in a uh, doctor, doctor somebody's office whose name I've forgotten, but we're in uh, Tex's doctor's office, and we're going to ask her some questions about. She just told us that our memory can be restored if we find a trance key and a code. Wow. Here we go. Bowers trans key. I have no idea what the trans key might be, of course, but it would likely be a short, fairly unique phrase. Okay. You'll need your trans key to restore your memory. And the only way you'll find it is to get it from the person who injected you with the trans inducer. Oh, we have to find out who injected us. And I have some ideas as to who that could be. Trance interrupter serum. I've checked around and it's not stocked by any medical facilities. I'll bet it isn't. And this is all tied in with our memory loss. I've dealt with many cases of amnesia, but nothing exactly like this. And um, let's ask about Louie and Taylor. I guess she must know them. I believe he runs a diner over by Telegraph Hill. Yeah, we've already asked her this, but let's ask again just to clear out the dialogue tree. I don't think you could do much better. And yes, I mean that the way it sounded. <laughs> oh, so much attitude. And then Tex Murphy. She's going to tell us to keep it professional, but hey, one can hope. Let's just keep this professional, shall we? You're ruining me here, babe. <laughs> okay, that's it. Before I return to say San, I'll need a laser blade to cut Bowers free, the trance interrupter serum, and its trance key. Phone message waiting. Phone message waiting. Phone message waiting. Um, yeah, so we have three things that we need to find there and having the slightest idea we're going to find them. And let's see who's trying to call us. Phone message waiting. Mr. Murphy, please tell me you have news about Mason. He's being held at a place called Say San, which is some crazed cult where the lunatics are in charge. I'm not going to alert the police because they might dispose of Mason. I think I better handle this myself. But why would you put yourself in so much danger? Because someone's taken seven years of my life from me and I want it back. If there's a way I can discover what happened and somehow restore my memories, I'll take that chance. Well, I hope you do get that chance. My name is Thompson Alt. I'll get back with you soon. Good luck, Mr. Murphy. A new player on the scene, Thompson Alt. Well, we've already met him before, but we now know his name. There's also one more thing I wanted to show you guys here. We are collecting Mike and Ike Hammer comics, and the reward is that this door the door to my back storage room is locked that's strange very strange if we can get all of the mike and i camera comics then that door will be open to us with some extra surprises so you'll know you can know that i will do my darndest to find every single one of those comics trust me i will okay so we have Bowers baseball cards. Since we know he's a big baseball fan. Well, these baseball cards may open the drawer in Mason Bowers' safe. Oh, yes. Let's head back there. And. Hopefully we'll be re rewarded with a trance inducer or trance key or something. <laughs> Before I return to say San, I'll need a laser blade to cut Bowers free, the trance interrupter serum, and his trance key. Man, this is a nightmare. I fly back to the beach house to see if the cards Mason had on him can be used here. When I arrive, there's a familiar face waiting at the door. Oh, I knew for it. An update. Yeah, I bet I know who you this is. Mason. Is he okay? 
Not physically, but mentally he's had a taste of his own medicine and doesn't suit him. Where is he? It's a place called Seisan, and I can't tell whether he's being held for his own protection or against his will. So what do we do now? If we don't know why he's there, we shouldn't get the police involved, right? Yeah, these boys play for keeps. I'm afraid if we uh, break in on him, Mason may disappear for good. You said you don't think he knows who he is. What does that mean? He's been shot up by something called the Trance Inducer. And if we don't get Mason's memory back, all three of us may be stuck at this dead end. I'm so grateful you're doing this. I don't know who else I could turn to. Oh, here we go. I still <laughs> care for Mason, but we haven't been close in a long time. You seem so tough and self-reliant. Well, being a PI is a very rough business. Isn't the rough business always more exciting? Maybe when Mason is back to his normal state and out of danger. Look, I'm no hero. I'm doing this to get my memory back. But perhaps later we could talk about this. Perhaps is so full of possibilities. Is there a more intriguing or tantalizing word? Uh, perhaps. But right now I've got to find something to help me get Mason out of say sin. I'll leave you to it. Good luck, Tex. I've got to go. But you know how to get a hold of me if there's anything you need. Dang. <laughs> My, my, my. I don't get it. I just don't get it. These women, why are they interested in you? Maybe you need to get your optical sensors checked. Now, between Ariel, Taylor, and the look Mojo was giving you, I'd say losing seven years has done wonders for your charisma. Hey, have you considered wiping a few more? Oh, and that was a nice cat suit, by the way. Can we pick up one in my size? <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what size a electronical gadget wears, but uh, I don't think I want to see him in a cat suit. Back at the hey, 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 hey. Jeesh. Back at the Bowers again, and we head on into here, and I'll bet there's a giant puzzle. That's going to annoy the heck out of me. <laughs> okay. So it couldn't be so simple as just walking up and sticking a baseball card in there, could it? Couldn't be that simple. Maybe it is that simple. Let's see. <laughs> it's that simple. Who knew? <laughs> ah. This must be the trans interrupter medication. And there's only one dose. And you know who's going to take it. Us. 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 Oh, please. Come on. Let us have just like a little bit of money. One of our fedoras needs replacing. Okay. So we now have trans interrupter serum. And, uh... I'm just sitting here for a minute thinking... One dose. This is trans interrupter serum. The only thing that can bring back memories. And there's only dosage for one person. If I use it on Mason, maybe you can tell me where more serum is. And then we need a short phrase. St. Germain's business card. <laughs> Llama Club security key, which we still... I have no idea where the Llama Club is, but boy, I'd love to go. Mm. Mason, it looks like Margaret Leonard is going rogue. Yeah. Bar napkin. I'm just I'm just looking through these things to see if anything can kind of trigger what our next like where would we go to get a pass phase? We've got the serum. Oh, I don't know. 
I guess we should head back to Saison and see if he might have, you know, he might something. I don't know. Let's just go back to Saison. And I'm not ready to go back there yet. I still need a few more items. Or not. Not, you know, not's good. Secret item. Secret room. Chandler Avenue, the resort. Well, I think when all else fails, the only thing we can do really is go back to Chandler Avenue. And do the same thing, which is start asking around. I don't know who on Chandler Avenue, though, would have... Let's see what Archie Ellis knows. He was a lot of information for us before, so let's see if he might know something again. Um, because I, I can't think of where you buy something to cut, cut a person out of... I don't know. I just realized that this is their business sign. A spray-painted sign on the wall. <laughs> oh, they have something up here, too, but that's cool. Seriously, we are the dynamic duo, don't you think? You're certainly the boy wonder. <laughs> so what have you come up with? I wonder, how tall is Tex Murphy? Either this guy is like five feet two, or he he's six foot six. Which is it? Do you know? I think that... <laughs> I think... That uh, Tex, or Chris Jones, who plays him, is a very tall guy, but... Wow. Couldn't be that tall, could he? Anyway. Let's see if he knows about a laser blade. Uh... No. Oh. Uh... <laughs> no. I love it. That's all we're gonna get. Trans Interrupter Serum, which we already know Don't about. Don't know about that. Well, you're no help. Oh, I hate to do this, but it looks like we're going to have to go down and ask Rook. That old bleepity bleep. <laughs> Perhaps I've been wrong about you, Murphy. <laughs> what can I do to help? I absolutely love it. He actually used, like, <laughs> wrong. <laughs> That's awesome. What is that? Okay. Transkey, you probably wouldn't know about that either, but... Are you going to ask me about everything you've ever heard of? Yes. Yes, we are. <laughs> no. Next. I love you, Rook. So, uh, big finish. I'm talking to you. I'd like you to make some t-shirts that say, um, Rook and Sapphire kissing in a tree. I'll buy one. Not again. You're going to get me fired. Or worse. <laughs> or worse. Uh, do you know anything about a laser blade? You think we got something that expensive here? And you know you gotta have a license to carry one, right? Look, I have one of my own. I'll give it to you. But only if you swear that it squares us up. Thanks, dude! And it totally squares us up, whatever that means. I don't know if this has anything to do with this trans key you're talking about, but after that 48 Pandian flew off, I circled back. I took a quick look around and saw a fresh hypo on the ground along with a few cards. I grabbed them. If you want them, just don't tell the cops I gave them to you. Oh, I certainly won't. Oh, you sweet, sweet mobster. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> we got it. Awesome. He gave us a laser blade. This laser blade can help me free Mason Bowers from Saisen. And? These four of clubs cards were found scattered all over the alleyway by Zack after the abduction. I think Bowers' trance interrupter key may be the phrase four of clubs. Interesting. So guys came off, abducted him. I'm going down here to ask Louie just because I like Louie. Hey, what can I do for you, Mife? So awesome. Sorry. I just wanted to hear you say sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh, the urge to go in and ask um, our good friend uh, Mojo about this is so strong, but I'm going to resist because we have to move the story along. 
But now we have or should be rewarded with an exciting cutscene. Yes, cutscene. Mason, how are you today? How's everything going here at the camp? Four clubs. Four clubs. Four clubs, Mason. Come on, come on, wake up. Come on, don't be deaf, dumb, and stupid. Please, <laughs> Mason, wake up. So, that's it. Come on. Come on, come on. Tex, where are we? So, doesn't matter where we are. Um, well, can, let's talk later. We're in Say Sin, and we gotta move fast. Is that the trans interrupter? What have you done? Um. <laughs> Thanks can wait. Quid pro quo. Uh. Uh. A neurologist's mind is a terrible thing to waste. Brought you back from Zombie Land. These guys wiped your memory. No, they didn't. I did. What? Oh no. Why the hell would you do that? Oh God, now they can find out everything I know. How could you do this? Oh, well, maybe because I want my memory back. Your friend said you're the only one who could help. My friend? Yeah, the one who came for the cryo chamber. So he has it. The cryo chamber's safe? Yes, he has it. So where do I get more serum? There's only one dose in your safe. And what the hell's my trance key? Margaret injected you. She's the only one who could have helped you. Yeah, and she's dead. And I'm pretty sure her head was the main ingredient in that soup can of yours. Her head? Why'd you cut off her head? I didn't. It was Maldonado. I, I don't think I could have done it. Yeah, well, don't mince words. Because it was your idea. Margaret double-crossed us. She came up with her own plan, but I think we stopped her before she could give it to the translator. Well, you don't come across as totally insane. She knew things, but she'd given up hope. However, some of us still believe. It wasn't fair of her to take those things to the grave. And I have the technology to tap what's inside her memories. Even after death. Wow. I stand corrected. You are insane. Oh, God. You were in on it with us. We were all looking for the Tesla egg. But you're the one who found it in the wall of your apartment. I was still working from the inside, letting you all know what the translator was doing. By then, Margaret had stolen the egg and disappeared. I was afraid she'd switch sides, so I heard Maldonado do Svelance on the Ritz, hoping she'd show up. Yeah, and she did. She and that big mutant came by and injected me. Whoa! I caught up to her at the door of her apartment. All I wanted to do was talk, but she clutched her chest and collapsed. Oh! Dead before oh. she hit the floor. Decapitation was a last resort. Oh. Where does the abduction come in? I called Maldonado just when the translator's henchmen arrived. Maldonado brought the cryo chamber while I created a diversion. While they were chasing me, he did the deed. Then I used the transinducer on myself. We'll rendezvous with my friend. We gotta find that egg before the translator does. All right, but let's swing by and get your wife too because she's been worried sick about you. My wife? I don't have a wife. Very good, Tex. Whoa! You continually impress. The cryo chamber. It holds your answers. Don't let him find it. Whoa. Oh my god. Did he just kill himself? Welcome back, Tex. Oh! You certainly have a gift for making things interesting. Yeah, it's a gift that just keeps on giving. I assume you have no idea who we are. Well, let me just save some time here. I have no memory of you or anything else since this bastard here shot me and my girlfriend seven years ago. Yes. Margaret made sure of that, didn't she? Willing to die just to keep you out of the equation, undermining me at every turn right up until the end. I need to know one thing. Did you kill Chelsea? You could say that. Don't move. Oh. It's a long story, Tex. Maybe some other time. Just tell me what happened to Chelsea. 
Dalton, would you please answer Tex's question? My pleasure. We'd stolen your spear, of course. After I sedated you and Chelsea, you were taken to a place where we could search your memories for leads to Margaret Leonard's whereabouts. When that failed, I staged Chelsea's death, attempting to draw Leonard out of hiding. We left identifiable DNA inside your burned-out speeder. Which, incidentally, was uninsured. <laughs> we fall for it, unfortunately. Eventually, we let Chelsea go, and I never saw her again. This was all before I returned. I've never seen Chelsea. I haven't seen her either, as far as you know. Oh, so there's hope for Chelsea? So Chelsea's alive, somewhere. I don't know, or care. And you are? I am the translator. Is translating your profession or a hobby? It is my mission and my destiny. Well, I guess that makes a million and two questions that I have. Everything would be a lot easier if you just unlock my memory. I would if I could, Tex, believe me. Unfortunately, Margaret took your trance key to her grave. What? I'm supposed to believe that I'm on your guys' side for whatever's going on here? That's right. We're all in this together. We're united in a common goal. It was a goal Margaret and I used to share many years ago. But she lost hope after I died. You're Joe Hansen? Margaret Leonard's husband? The FBI agent who stole the Tesla cash? I am. And I did. But when I learned what we'd taken from Tesla and buried in our vaults, what amazing technologies he had to offer the world, it became my dream to complete his work. But then I was diagnosed with terminal cancer. I had little time left, so we decided that I should be preserved in a cryogenic state in hopes that a cure could be found someday. But now you're here alive again, so who's the one who brought you back? Margaret refused. She said it wasn't safe yet. I tried to pressure her and she disappeared. In the end, it was Mason who completed the reanimation. What was it like? Indescribable. I saw eternity. <laughs> and I returned with a renewed sense of purpose. I finally saw the true vision of Tesla's work. So if Mason brought you back, why did he turn against you? Margaret can be very persuasive. I think she convinced Mason that my work was too risky. But she couldn't convince you, Tex. Uh, I'm a little lost here. Why do you need me? Margaret held one last piece of the puzzle. The Tesla egg. It is the nucleus of the atom. Without it, the spirit radio has little effect. But with it, the veil between living and dead will vanish. And we will all exist within the immortal coil. We have work to do. You're free to go, Tex. These guys must be playing some kind of mind trick on me. This has got to be a setup of some kind. Tex, <laughs> buddy, I'm afraid I haven't been totally straight with you. But over the last seven years, you have become a lying, womanizing, duplicitous, two-timing cutthroat who plays both sides against the middle for money and is partners with the gentleman who just left the room. I thought you could just walk away from the person you'd become, but I see that fate may have something else in mind. Whoa! Holy plot thickener, Batman! <laughs> The Talking Dead, or <laughs> Lost in Translation. Please don't let the puzzle be that we have to go into Margaret's head and, ugh. After I returned from Say San, I called Alt to tell him Mason Bowers had taken a 40-foot leap. The guy was so broken up, he hung up the phone. I'm not sure if Bowers' death ended Alt's interest in this whole sorry mess, but my gut tells me I'll need his help if I'm ever gonna solve this case. I decided to visit St. Germain to find more information about the Tesla egg. So, how goes the investigation? I don't suppose you have any news regarding that egg we talked about. Well, everybody's talking about the Tesla egg, but I think I've got a lead on it. 
Ah, the egg of Columbus, the copper egg. Unveiled by Tesla at the Chicago World's Fair in 1893, it was the very heart of a small prototype that, some say, would become his most notorious invention. But you seem underwhelmed, and that's not good. You know the story of Tunguska? Well, I do now. If you believe, as many do, that the Tunguska explosion was caused by the Tesla death ray, and you believe that the Tesla egg is a core component of the death ray, well, then the egg would be of immense fortune. Tell me, what do you believe, Mr. Murphy? I believe you know a lot more than you're telling me. Are you familiar with Paradise Lost? Isn't that one of those resorts for swingers? <laughs> <laughs> Paradise Lost is a poem about the great divide in heaven when Lucifer was cast out. After his banishment, Lucifer swore revenge and created an army of his own. He and his followers waited in darkness for their chance to strike back at the god who cast them out. After a three-day battle against the faithful angels, the forces of evil were banished from heaven for all eternity. Well, I like it when the good guys win. Yes. But what if the war were not over? What if Lucifer had not been defeated but lay in wait, preparing for his chance to overthrow heaven? <laughs> well, debating hypothetical fairy tales a little nerdy for me. Look at the world around you. Did heaven win the battle? <laughs> Man has created hell on earth. And the longer man exists, the further he descends from the wisdom and discernment needed to overcome the darkness. At his core, he is a grasping, clawing, foolish creature, willing to commit any sin to appease his base and greedy nature. I thought I was jaded. You really think we're as bad as all that? There are still some who give me hope. You? I'm not sure about. Your role, whether for good or evil, has yet to be determined. He's not so bad. Does he have the egg? <laughs> no, my dear. Entirely the wrong egg. An interesting trinket, to be sure, but not the egg I'm searching for. Well, if it isn't Ariel Bowers. You know, I hope I pronounced that correctly, because Bowers doesn't have a wife. Great work, Detective. How long did that take to figure out? Not long. After Bowers told me. <laughs> I have to confess, I haven't been totally honest with you on some things. Just some? I didn't know who you were when you first interrupted my own search of Bowers' place. And what were you doing there? I work for an organization you wouldn't have heard of. We're based out of St. Petersburg. Yeah, Florida. Russia. How about you? I don't work for anyone. Just the greater good. And my own little passions, of course. Ariel and I have crossed paths on several occasions. This time we seem to have some objectives in common, so we pooled our resources. Yeah, I'm well familiar with Ariel's resources. <laughs> How common are your objectives and mine? That depends. You the kind of man who lets innocent people die? Uh, not normally, no. You've heard of the Tesla Legacy Society. At one time, it had a membership of hundreds. After Charles Johansson died, the numbers dwindled. Some time ago, all those people vanished without a trace. I had hoped to find some answers from Bowers. Oh, I got news for you. He's not dead. He's back. He's the translator, I presume. The one building the immortal coil. You say you like it when the good guys win? You plan on doing anything about that? Oh, sure. Leave it to me, as always. What are you two gonna do about it? This is not my battle to fight. He knows me. I won't be able to get close to him like you can. You shall have to find the test the reg first. Of course. Great. I didn't even think of that. Well, if you don't have any more helpful tips... 
Until we meet again, Mr. Murphy. And something tells me we will. Until next time. Kiss for luck. You'll need it. After visiting with St. Germain, the former Mrs. Bowers invites me to a place called the resort and says she has information to exchange. Haha, <laughs> 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 ultimate well, text. If it isn't Dudley Do Right, caught me red handed. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Uh, guilty pleasure, cartoon talk, uh, intervention, uh, guilty pleasure. Yeah. You only get caught if you want to get caught. What can I say? It's part of my job. I'm a spy. Well, the first rule of being a spy is not to say you're a spy. Some people. <laughs> you need a new career path. Oh, so now you're a secret agent. What's next? Gonna be a pirate? No, I really am. The organization I work for, you couldn't pronounce it, but in English it's called the White Guard. We've been monitoring the translator for years. We've had our eye on you as well. So are you going to interrogate me? I have so much to confess. I don't like this woman. <laughs> Mmm, I don't like you. <laughs> Why are you acting like I'm even slightly in control of this situation? I'll be honest with you. I need your help, Tex. And I oh. can help you, but I had to find out where your loyalties were. Uh, let's turn the tables. Really? Well, what about me? When do I find out about you and where your loyalties lie? Oh, That's no. we here, together. Alone. I hope you don't mind. I took the liberty of ordering some food. Should uh -oh. be here any minute. I thought we could have a bite, get to know each other a little better. Said the spider to the fly. I told you, Tex, I've had my eye on you for a while. And as you know, I'm not married. Who knows what lies ahead? What lies ahead? That may be the truest thing you've ever said to me. It's a rough world out there. Any of us could be dead tomorrow. I live in the moment. And right now, I want that moment to be with you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> succumb to the spider. <laughs> Stay true to your girl, which is Chelsea. Don't make a commitment. <clears throat> Since um, I think Tex's heart lies, or at least his interest lies with Taylor, who seems like an upstanding girl still, you know, nothing naughty about her. This woman's an international spy and very accomplished liar. There's nothing that she can say that you can believe. So we're going to say not to make a commitment. Don't think so, sweetie. Perhaps. Perhaps. So full of possibilities. Is there a more intriguing or enticing word? Perhaps. <laughs> Must be the food. Do you mind getting it while I change? Yeah, I doubt it's the food. <laughs> Hello! Hey, cowboy. I was hoping I'd find you here. <laughs> oh! Oh, no! Oh! So we can feign fatigue friendly dismissal or prepare to break up so <laughs> what i'm gonna do is in this episode here <laughs> on a cliffhanger what do you think i should do i i'm i really like taylor but maybe there's a reason why we should go with ariel besides that we're just sort of generally horn doggy <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments below or over at reddit at reddit.com forward slash r forward slash the Jessa channel. And as always, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, please hit the thumbs up button below and encourage me. And if you loved what you saw, join the party and subscribe. Thumbs up, Ariel or Taylor. Let me know. And as always, thanks so much. 
for watching. Commenting with Google Plus sucks, but commenting with Reddit is awesome. So head on over to Reddit and leave a comment on this video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.